Hello friends, I am Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Online. Today I will show you how to make a realistic bed uh, for your uh, interior uh, uh, room, for a bedroom. Uh, in this uh, course, uh, I'll make a bed uh, with a simple box and uh, will followed by cloth modifier. So let's get started. I'll take extended primitives chef box right now I'm not taking any dimensions uh, so uh, the only method you can see like same method can be applied with and with dimensions you can click and say share it and add some fillet so it will make a rounded box uh, in generally in simulation we have to keep in mind there are a lot of segments there are a lot of uh, if you are doing particles, there are a lot of particles. So generally, you should have a good RAM and a nice graphic card. So make sure you uh, you have a, a, a at least four GB of RAM, and uh, which is a now it's very common. I'll take one plane down for drop. Can increase this segments to 30 30 30 because for cloth draping it should uh, it, it also ha it should have more segments and where it is colliding it should have a segments so we will not have an uh, intersection on that and uh, for a general uh, uh, thing this is not a cloth still we have not made a cloth I'll make cloth like this and like this slightly I can increase it bed should cover properly now I have one a piece of cloth and this is a collider and this is a plane so now I can name it my cloth Select, go to modify, modifier list, press C on your keyboard and here it is cloth and go to object properties, click cloth and select the cloth because it is by default inactive and preset as of we can set for default but if you want a particular uh, realistic effect like silk of course you can go for silk and all, all those things but I can take default now. I'll add the collider and I'll select the, these two guys and say collision object because when it is a collider it should have a checkbox and we have to tick the this radio button so collision object should be there the depth how uh, what will the distance between the collider and the cloth and offset uh, remains the the uh, uh, sorry offset remains the distance between those, those two things and depth uh, is uh, should be much more larger than offset it's a correlation between this so I can make one or I can make 0.8 or 0.5 with this an offset and with this it's a dynamic friction and static friction and uh, basically friction if you want to move the clock very fast so it should be go down and of course it is a, a friction here also so we can adjust the frictions uh, from here also dynamic frictions so cloth will not stick to one place it will go on sliding if you increase the friction it will stop at one place so I really don't want to stop at one place I will see later on how it's reacting 
I'll say okay. Now centimeter slash units means 2.5 unit that is centimeter. If you increase this number, it means we make a bigger cloth. No matter how it is on the mesh basis, but it will react as a bigger cloth. If you go on adding the numbers, it will it will react as a bigger cloth in the simulation. Gravity is set by default. Steps and subsamples. It is divided by the frames. If you increase three subsamples, it will divide two frames in three. That is, it will reach second frame divided by three. So it makes sense when we make a large simulations and check intersection we want don't want an in intersection and self collision if bedsheet collides to the bedsheet so we'll take one and uh, i'll say local simulate where local simulation is basis basically for uh, uh, a modeling you can say uh, where we can achieve one result and we delete it off the cloth modifier so same uh, will we are doing right now but in a character simulation or where a character moves with the cloth, we do the simulate things, right? So I'll select simulate now. This is how it's coming. I can pause this simulation by clicking again. And this is what the desired result uh, I was expecting from it. So this is uh, what... Uh, and uh, uh, don't worry, the, this uh, intersection we can remove uh, uh, very fast uh, uh, with the push and pull command. So uh, let it be. But once again, uh, in simulation thing, uh, the one thing you have to keep in mind, never say yes at first attempt. You have to test every time for a very good results. As of the segments we have, no, it's not more segments, but generally if you keep more segment, it will give more wrinkles to it. So right now I'm uh, pressing Ctrl Z, that is undo. Uh, again, I will increase this uh, number, say 5, and say local simulate. Or I can say, I can pause my simulation, it will uh, uh, increase my time. So I can pause the simulation, I'll show you the results. The way uh, it was uh, settling down, it, sh it gives very uh, subtle effect and gives very uh, bigger cloth effect. So uh, this is what I got the results and generally I can, uh, I can add uh, turbo smooth and check how it is going. So I can press T on keyboard and say turbo smooth. This is what on uh, uh, basically I want. So I can increase the sec uh, increase of wrinkles by adding uh, edit poly. and. Uh, I'll say I can delete it off the turbo smooth from it right now and say right click I can say uh, convert to editable poly now if you click over here you can still see this is cloth because it is in a collider so I can say delete it off click on this collider I can say I don't want collide cloth and click on this cloth and I can go and push and pull it's very nice command so if you see brush size is very big press control and shift and drag you can increase and decrease the size of the brush or directly you can go and click over here because i generally use the shortcuts it is very good to use shortcuts so same thing i follow and same thing i tell in my tutorials and again i click on here and I don't want such a 10 inches pull, but I want something around 3. And just press Ctrl, Shift, come down with the value and see this is how we can do. But this is very weird thing. I can press undo and I can say 2. And again I can slightly, I can lift it up like this. or I can say relax in some parts where it is crumbled and where it is not I can make it crumble because it will give me the effect of wrinkle so I can go and say push and pull I can really push this one 
and press alt it will push and if you release alt it will say pull go and this one and say push and it will pushing it's pushing very hard and say one fine can add turbo smooth on it say iteration 2 again I'll go and say show end results and go to push and pull command and slightly you can say 0.5 can lift it up like this but frankly speaking I'm hiding that inside box so doesn't matter how it coming out so uh, I'm clicking this one say hide now I can go to again edit poly and I can say border I can click border and go to edge and say create shape from selection I will say cloth border I will say smooth and now it has been created and this is where the border it is I can click on shapes and click on shape here I can say modifier say sweep sweep it's very good modifier and can say cylinder and the uh, pivot alignment I can say 1 or 0.5 or 0.3 will be fine it will give very thicker look and uh, slightly I will go on with this box come down and it's done now we have one choice that we can make a pillow on it so it will make a total complete bed I will say turbo smooth on and I'll say click on this border and make a group I'll say bed sh pet bed sheet and I'll hide it off I'll go and take a box go to modify I'll increase the segment I'll go to convert it to vertical poly click here and say I will click here and say loop ring ring one more segments fine it's not pinching I'll pinch it like this but it's not pinching fine no problem 
let's select this one say loop make slightly outside click over here say ring I'll say connect say ok and I'll turbo smooth before one segment is remaining I'll click over here click again say ring say connect say ok now we can say turbo smooth now what I'll do is I'll unhide my name say per sheet scale it down shift say instance this is we can say the block of 3d max uh, where we can make uh, with the help of cloth and this was my tutorial for today and uh, if you have any if you have any queries regarding to this tutorial or if you want some kind of tutorial please do let me know so I can really make for you and uh, for then meet you in next tutorial thanks for watching